Okay, this is the angel hug for Wednesday, the 14th of November, and it's Find Your Purpose, Know Your Path launch day. Yay! So um, you can buy that now. That's available. And I also just want to say, um, if you do buy it, I've just been working on, um, well, over the last week or so, but I finished it over the weekend, a mini life purpose email coaching course. So it's a seven-day course to just guide you through some more really powerful questions for, for soul searching. And... Um, yeah, those are available for anyone who actually buys the book. So remember, if you do buy it, to come back to that page and sign up for that. And also, you'll be signing up for my newsletter. So that's all good. And um, yeah, that's it really. Enjoy. And I'm going to shuffle now for today and um, just see what we get for Wednesday. Take your power back. Right, okay. That's such a great card. So. What we're going to do um, with that card is just really look into all of the areas where we are not quite moving forward in the way that we want to be. It's a really, really important day to just be really aware of anything that's going on in our lives that is not supporting us fully. Anything that feels as if we are giving up our our power to it and allowing that to make us feel uh, stunted or suffocated in any way. Having said that, sometimes the way to take our power back is not so much to keep battling with it, fighting it and trying to find a way to get away from it or confront it. Sometimes we take our power back by flowing into it and noticing what is the learning here? What's the higher learning here? What is this forcing me to do? What's it forcing me to look at? What is it for forcing me to notice about where I need to grow? That is often the most powerful thing that we can be can do because it puts us back into the perspective of being the creator and that is really the most powerful position that we can take so rather than feeling that everything in our lives has to be perfect it has to because what's on the inside mirrors blah 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 the outside mirrors the inside and and if i'm not living like this or doing that then it proves this and this and this about me that's another way of disempowering ourselves Okay, let's just take that on board for a second. There's a lot of stuff that's quite tele -offy in this movement. In our desire to become more evolved, in our desire to grow, sometimes we can view ourselves and each other in ways that are not necessarily all that loving. And really, in order to become truly empowered, we have to let go of everything that is not allowing us to feel loving towards ourselves because we become very love is the greatest power there is and so if you're fighting your way through something and trying to challenge it and make it different and make it work in a different way take control of or gain dominion over or you know any of those things do you feel powerful while you're doing that? That's what you need to ask yourself. If you are feeling genuinely empowered from the inside and motivated and uh, fueled by love and you are achieving and breaking through and creating a new circumstance in a positive and exciting and empowered way, then yes, you are taking your power back. If you are feeling little and challenged and rebellious and having to fight something, it doesn't necessarily always feel that powerful. So what I'm going to encourage us all to do today is to really, really, everything leads back to coming into the heart, doesn't it really? Everything leads back to love. To just encourage us all to really soften, soften, soften. Sometimes the way to, to overcome things is not the way that we think it is. It isn't always to get hard and fight. Sometimes it's to get soft and notice. Get soft and notice and become truly powerful in, from inside. And if there's a conversation that you need to have, then this is a good day to have it. This is a good day to have a conversation that will allow us to take our power back with love, with true empowerment, through softness, through gentleness, through wisdom and awareness. Okay, thank you guides. That's that. So that felt like a bit of a rant and I'm just going to pick one more card to go with it. Where am I going? Right, okay.
thanks. Um, I'm going to go to the colour cards and I'm uh, just going to give a quick card for that. And then I know, right, okay, so experience, peace and calm. So whatever we need to do today to take our power back, let's do it in a way that's peaceful and calm because then we know we are feeling truly empowered, aligned with the divine, which is love, which is the greatest source of power, and then, you know, go straight ahead. Right, I'm going to do a quick reading for Eagle to Inspired. And what I felt about you uh, as I tuned in before I came on to do the reading is that you need to move to a new level of acceptance with everything that's happening with you. So in other words, you need to really, really take all of it into your heart. You need to really accept everything that's going on and slow yourself down and greet it with joy. Um, and there is an awareness that you have much gratitude for it. There is also much gratitude for you coming from the angelic realm. Thank you for everything that you're doing. However, can you please change some of your language is what I'm being told to ask you. So in other words, and you're doing a fantastic job uh, navigating all the changes in your life while you're navigating all of this shifting as well. It's all wonderful learning for you. It's good preparation. I'm just being told to ask you, rather than to say um, slightly hollowly, how am I supposed to deal with all this, please ask instead, please show me the next best step for me okay lovely that's the that's the best way to go and i'm also being asked to thank you for all the work you're doing through touch and it feels to me as if that's not necessarily through formal touch like reiki or aromatherapy it's when you speak to people i'm being told you touch them a lot i see you with your hand on someone's elbow and they're saying when you do that there is a transmission of love and it is felt you're aware of it and it is felt so thank you and keep doing everything that you're doing because it's wonderful and i'm going to pick a card for you from ah it's really difficult because I want two decks for you because for one thing I want to give you a prayer so that you've got some words to work with if you haven't got this deck um, let's see what you've got have confidence that's fantastic wow look at that so this is from the Archangel Michael deck and all of the uh, messages on this deck are prayers and your prayer is and you can stop and start the video and write this down because I know it's going to be powerful for you he looks quite fierce in this card. Okay, it's um, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me to realize that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance and health. Allow me to feel confidence and peace about myself in all ways. Okay, so that's your prayer and I'm going to pick you a messages card because I really felt drawn to that deck as well. There we go innocence okay so go back to a very soft and very innocent place around all of this because that is the way to navigate it all stay very open and the message on the card is beloved one everything everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter god's handiwork of perfection give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load give us any guilt anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook enjoy the peace within your heart once more so if you are feeling misunderstood in any way and if this is one of the reasons there is a little bit of resistance to full acceptance of your path please melt into it and ask for help with that and with everything else that's happening around you at the moment okay uh, namaste have a great day i'll be back tomorrow everyone thanks for listening bye